Hello, and this is Michael, and I want to talk about why sacraments don't exist. So we've had this little conversation about uh, communion, and I want to broaden it a little bit talking about sacrament. Sacrament is obviously a term very commonly associated with communion as well as baptism. And if you look at the Catholic Church, you have several other church activities included under that category. Now, I'm very critical to the word and especially the category of sacraments, not because I think that we shouldn't practice communion or baptism or anointing the sick or what have you, uh, but I think it is a false distinction to say that these particular things are sacraments. And then based on that category, you talk about how the church should be more sacramental and the importance uh, of these sacraments, how um, they channel the grace of God in a particular way, and so on and so forth. The word sacrament was coined by Tertullian. Um, he was translating the Greek word um, mythos, I think. Something like, no, no, mysterion, mysterion, yeah. Uh, so basically the mystery, uh, which is mentioned several uh, times in the New Testament, talking about the gospel, especially um, Paul in his pastoral letter, he talked about the gospel as uh, a divine mystery revealed to us in the, in the last days. Um, so Tertullian um, took this word sacrament, which was actually an oath, that was pledged by soldiers, and he applied it to baptism. And he said that this, this is um, this holy oath and uh, a mystery how we enter the kingdom of God through uh, water and the Holy Spirit. Uh, 200 years later, Augustine, or Augustine, I don't know how to pronounce his name, um, he took this concept and developed it further, and he argued that there are several different uh, church activities um, that are included in the sacrament category. And he included communion. He also included uh, the creed, the Nicene Creed, as well as um, Our Father, the Lord's Prayer. So he said that these um, activities are channeling God's grace. They are visible signs of invisible grace, which is a very... Uh, common definition of what a sacrament is. Now, uh, for about um, 700 years, uh, the category of sacraments was fluid and you could put in and take out almost whatever you wanted uh, to do. Uh, but then in the 12th century, a um, French bishop called Peter Lombard, um, he coined the seven sacraments of the Catholic Church because obviously seven is a holy number according to the Bible. And uh, then when the Reformation came, Martin Luther said, no, wait a second, some of these sacraments, um, they aren't instituted by Christ. So he excluded, for example, um, the ordinance of priests or marriage. Um, but he said that baptism, communion and um, confession uh, are sacraments. And especially the first two, baptism and communion, are generally accepted as being uh, sacraments or, or holy ordinances. But what's the problem with this? Well, the problem is that Jesus commanded us to do many different things. The, the only reason that giving money to the poor or uh, casting out demons isn't described as a sacrament is because those who coined uh, the category of sacraments didn't find that important. But I want to do everything that Jesus wants me to do. So I either talk about everything that Christians do as sacraments or I re renounce uh, the category altogether. Thank you for watching. And God bless you.